the Aurelian walls are a line of city walls built between 271 AD and 275 AD in Rome, Italy, during the reign of the Roman emperors Aurelian and Probus. The walls enclosed all the seven hills of Rome plus the Campus Martiusen, on the right bank of the Tiber, the Trastevere district. The riverbanks within the city limits appear to have been left unfortified, although they were fortified along the Campus Martius. The size of entire enclosed area is 1400 hectares. Construction. The full circuit ran for 19 kilometers surrounding an area of 13.7 square kilometers. The walls were constructed in brick-faced concrete, 3.5 meters thick and 8 meters high, with a square tower every 100 Roman feet. In the 4th century, remodeling doubled the height of the walls to 16 meters. By 500 AD, the circuit possessed 383 towers, 7,020 crenellations, 18 main gates, 5 postern gates, 116 latrines, and 2,066 large external windows. History By the 3rd century AD, the boundaries of Rome had grown far beyond the area enclosed by the old Servian Wall. Built during the Republican period in the late 4th century BC, Rome had remained unfortified during the subsequent centuries of expansion and consolidation due to lack of hostile threats against the city. The citizens of Rome took great pride in knowing that Rome required no fortifications because of the stability brought by the Pax Romana and the protection of the Roman army. However, the need for updated defences became acute during the crisis of the 3rd century, when barbarian tribes flooded through the Germanic frontier and the Roman army struggled to stop them. In 270, the barbarian Juthungian Vandals invaded northern Italy, inflicting a severe defeat on the Romans at Placentia before eventually being driven back. Further trouble broke out in Rome itself in the summer of 271, when the mint workers rose in rebellion. Several thousand people died in the fierce fighting that resulted. Aurelian's construction of the walls as an emergency measure was a reaction to the barbarian invasion of 270. The historian Aurelius Victor states, explicitly that the project aimed to alleviate the city's vulnerability. It may also have been intended to send a political signal as a statement that Aurelian trusted that the people of Rome would remain loyal, as well as serving as a public declaration of the emperor's firm hold on power. The construction of the walls was by far the largest building project that had taken place in Rome for many decades, and the construction was a concrete statement of the continued strength of Rome. The walls were built in the short time of only five years, though Aurelian himself died before the completion of the project. Progress was accelerated, and money saved, by incorporating existing buildings into the structure. These included the Amphitheatrum Castrens, the Castra Praetoria, the Pyramid of Cestius, and even a section of the Aqua Claudia Aqueduct near the Porta Maggiore. As much as a sixth of the walls is estimated to have been composed of pre-existing structures. An area behind the walls was cleared and sentry passages were built to enable it to be reinforced quickly in an emergency. The actual effectiveness of the wall is disputable, given the relatively small size of the city's garrison. The entire combined strength of the Praetorian Guard, Cohortes Urbani, and Vigera of Rome was only about 25,000 men, far too few to defend the circuit adequately. However, the military intention of the wall was not to withstand prolonged siege warfare, it was not common for the barbarian armies to besiege cities, as they were insufficiently equipped and provisioned for such a task. Instead, they carried out hit-and-run raids against ill-defended targets. The wall was a deterrent against such tactics. Parts of the wall were doubled in height by Maxentius, who also improved the watchtowers. In 401, under Honorius, the walls and the gates were improved. At this time, the tomb of Hadrian across the Tiber was incorporated as a fortress in the city defences, later used. 
the Aurelian walls continued as a significant military defense for the city of Rome until September 20, 1870, when the Basali area of the Kingdom of Italy breached the wall near the Porta Pia and captured Rome. The walls also defined the boundary of the city of Rome up until the 19th century, with the built-up area being confined within the walled area. The Aurelian walls remain remarkably well preserved today, largely the result of their constant use as Rome's primary fortification until the 19th century. The Museo del Muro near the Porta San Sebastiano offers information on the wall's construction and how the defences operated. The best preserved sections of the walls are to be found from the Muro Torta to Corso di Italia to Castro Pretorio, from Porta San Giovanni to Porta Ardiatina, from Porta Ostiense to the Tiber, and around Porta San Pancrazio. Gates List of gates, from the northernmost and clockwise. Porta del Popola, here begins via Flaminia. Porta Pinciana, Porta Salaria, here begins via Salaria. Porta Pia, here begins the new via Nomentana. Porta Nomentana, here began the old via Nomentana. Porta Pretoriana, old entrance to Castra Pretoria, the camp of the Pretorian Guard. Porta Tibertina, here begins via Tibertina. Porta Maggiore, here three aqueducts meet, and via Prionestino begins. Porta San Giovanni, near Basilica di San Giovanni in Laterano. Porta Asinaria, here begins the old Via Tuscalana. Porta Metronia, Porta Latina, here begins Via Latina. Porta San Sebastiano, here begins the Appian Way. Porta Ardiatina. Porta San Paolo, next to the Pyramid of Cestius, leading to Basilica di San Paolo Fuori la Mura, here via Ostiense begins. Gates in Trastevere, Porta Portuensis, Porta Aurelia Pancrasian, Porta Setemiana, Porta Aurelia Sancti Petri, Gallery, Porta Asinaria, a section of wall near the Pyramid of Cestius. An interior view of the Aurelian walls near Porta San Sebastiano, a restored section between towers on the wall. Parts of the Roman wall and its towers have become domestic properties in Rome. The 1700-year-old walls were constructed from tiled brick and concrete. A latrine built into the wall near the Porta Salaria, 